See how perfect they all look? Except for this one. Hello everyone. Um, so we only have like two or three hours today to work on the house. So all we're gonna do is finish the other side of flashing that we didn't like tape it that we didn't get to um, in the last video. And then we are going to cut out all of the insulation for the sides and hopefully put some of them in. And I don't know how much time we'll have, but. We'll see how far we get and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll show you exactly how we do the sides for our insulation. Alright, thanks for watching guys. You alright? Yeah. What'd you do? Something what? bad. What'd you do? I got, it's fine, everything's fine. You stuck it to the styrofoam, are you kidding me? <laughs> everything's fine. Oh, you're everything's fine, but it's... Did you rip any off? No. I didn't, look at me, I'm a pro. All right, so we just finished taping this whole side. Put the Gorilla Tape down, just like I've showed you guys before, but we just put it right in there like that and this is the gorilla tape right here just to seal all of the edges where the flashing meets the trailer so we did that on this side and again on this side over here and we did that all the way down and now I am going to work on measuring out we need a couple more pieces to fit in the sides for the insulation um, the scraps that we use weren't enough for all of it so I'm gonna be cutting them out we got two extra foam boards so I'll be cutting them out there and uh, I'm not cutting fudge I'm not cutting guys, no, that was, that was messed up. I'm not cutting, I'm measuring. And then Michael is over there with the little jigsaw tool. And um, we'll see if they fit in. We don't know if we're gonna have to cut out like the two inch pieces like we did for the main part of the insulation. So we'll see how it goes once he brings one over. And yeah, I'll show you guys the process. And after this, then our insulation will be done. So we're almost there. So guys, we do have to end up cutting two inches off just like we did for the long ones to make it fit. And then we're also gonna have to do the little notch thing to make it fit and flush. So, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but at least we know the process and hopefully we'll go fast. So I'm gonna measure and then Michael's gonna cut and then we'll put them all in. I messed up we're supposed to cut like the groove on this side because they're going in this way but I was so used to the other way so I did the long way but not too big of a deal we could still use them but I just had to go back and cut all those so that was really fun it was an accident I'm still upset about it stop laughing at me I leave you out of supervision for five minutes oh Oh my gosh. Okay, bye, bye, bye. I don't want to do this anymore. Just a little bit longer, you're just measuring. There's a lot of measurements going on here. I still have a lot more to do and I don't want to do it anymore. They look great, you don't have too much longer. I quit. No, no quitting. <laughs> oh, Nicolette. Oh, Nicolette. I don't want to do this anymore. Just a little longer. Do this anymore. Get back to work. Fine. All right guys, so we're done for the day. Um, it looks looking really nice. Most of the side pieces are in. The only ones that aren't, um, all of the end ones are like this one and that corner. And then also the ones by the wheel wells right here. They are all different sizes. So I had to go through and measure each one. And then I measured it out on one of the foam boards that we had left. And so the next day that we build, we're just gonna have to cut those out and put those in. And then the insulation will be all done. So we're super close, it looks really good, and then we can finally put the plywood on top and the subfloor will be done. So guys, what we decided to do, uh, Michael came up with this little thing. These are just 
scraps from two inch boards. So we put them in here so it, it's gonna make it flat on top of here since the flashing was angled. So we needed something to make the two inch and one inch boards sit correctly on top of here. So we just put in these on the ends and then everything will be flat after that. So these side pieces are actually super annoying because they're all different sizes. So we had to cut them out and they're just kind of placed where they need to go right now. And that's what we're working on right now is putting all those in. Guys, I'm literally so happy. Finally. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like I'm that happy because I'm tired, but finally we are all done with all parts of the insulation. And it was this was kind of a lot of work like doing the end pieces and then we had to do a bunch of the sides that like have wires underneath it so they were all cut specifically but finally we're done i also wanted to show you guys see how perfect they all look except for this one i literally cut like three pieces <laughs> that's because i was mad at babe so i was in a bad mood now we're friends again huh babes finally so just to finish off, we're gonna vacuum it really quick and make it look really nice. And then we're gonna use this stuff right here and seal in any little cracks that we have in the insulation. So for example, like this, like my finger can fit in here. So we'll just seal that up with a little spray foam. There's not very many. I have to shake for at least 60 seconds. I think that's false. It says 60 seconds on the can. Close ups. <laughs> that's so much seconds. <laughs> Babes, I think you have the cap on. Oh yeah. No, I just have to do this. <gasps> Shit! But we need to clean that up. Nicola, we need something to clean it up. <gasps> like why? What'd you say the tip was? Make sure to open the nozzle before you try to attempt to spray or else it's gonna go <laughs> like this. It's so nasty. Just so everyone knows, I'm really against things that are bad for the environment. We're trying to make this house as environmentally friendly as we can. So we are definitely not using spray foam for our insulation in our house. We're gonna use cellulose fibers, which are plant-based and mostly recycled. So unfortunately we just have to do this for the floor. That's the only thing that we could find quickly that works for like small cracks. But I'm not happy about it and we won't be using anything like this in the future. Right babes? See about it. it took a lot of convincing to make him say yes to cellulose fiber, but okay, we'll talk about that more later.